As you're joining in, you can share this broadcast all over. Share this broadcast all over to your page. And thank you so much for helping me out. Thank you for all my partners and all the people that sow into me and all the people that receive this great impartation of glory. Supernatural money is what Jesus was mentoring Peter and giving Peter the reality of supernatural money and how it moves. Because when Peter experienced the money in the fish mouth, that wasn't the only miracle that Peter saw. Peter saw not only money in the fish mouth, but he saw his net being so overloaded with fish. And fish in that time was a high class food. It still is today because we got salmon and we got uh, fish and stuff like that. We got tilapia. We got different type of stuff, you know, today. But that was considered a high class level of food. And if you think about it like this, he was eating lavish. But it was because he listened to the mentorship of King Jesus. Isaiah 48 verse 17 says, I, the Lord, I shall teach you how to profit. Which means that the Lord has a, a section of his teaching where he shows you how to be a ruler over money. How to master money and be money's master and also master the atmosphere in which money enters. Servanthood is the atmosphere where money arrives. Servanthood is the atmosphere where money arrives. Your servanthood to God, your servanthood to people. It is the atmosphere where money finds you. Say, if you look at people that you will look at and say, you know, um, um, they, they shouldn't have money, which means you both know that they shouldn't have money. But they're stealing a law called servanthood. They're in the atmosphere where money travels. So like somebody could be selling something that's illegal, wrong, dangerous, but they're serving it to people. So money is finding them through that servanthood. But the, 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 the purity of finances is when you're serving the Lord. The purity of finances is when you're serving the Lord. And when you're serving the Lord, not only do you operate in finances, but you operate in wisdom and boldness to obey God with their finances. You'll never put your trust in that money. Saints, I'm going to tell you like this here. When the Lord make you a multimillionaire from sowing seed, you can't ever put your trust in their finances. That money has to be worn loosely by you. Wear the money mantle, not the money. Wow. If you take, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. If you take a notes, write it down. Wear the money mantle, don't wear the money. When you start wearing the money, it got power over you. The money mantle is power over money. My goodness. Whoa, whoa. The money mantle is power over money. When money is on you, you love money. But the money mantle is where you love God. You love the Lord. And so the money mantle is wisdom that tells you how to deal with money, how to get money, how to increase money, how to multiply money. Saint seed sowing is how you multiply money. Whenever you sow seed into your profit, you hit the jackpot. The profit of God is disguised in every generation. And for people that recognize that profit, they tap into the jackpot of God where the Lord, he ministers to you his economic pleasures, his gifts. Saints, 
There are gifts of the Holy Ghost financially. What? There are gifts of the Spirit. It's of the Spirit. He'll gift you with finances. Saints, Abram being very rich in Genesis 13 is a gift of the Holy Spirit. It's the gifts of the Holy Spirit. When, when there's a transfer, remember when I think it was Abimelech took his wife and was about to take his wife and the Lord appeared in a dream and then Abimelech give him all that, that provision? That was gifts of finances. Remember when the Queen of Sheba started shipping off gold and stuff to Solomon, his land? Those are gifts of finances. Seed sowing brings you into the grand place of God's financial gifts of the Holy Spirit. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is on earth to make the seed multiply. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. He got his spirit down here on earth so that the seed will multiply in power, in glory, in great return. Saints, the hundredfold lifestyle is a gift of finances. The thousandfold blessing in Deuteronomy 111 is the gift of finances. Psalm 115 verse 14 says, the Lord will increase you more and more. This is the gift of finances, the gift of provision, the gifts of, of substance, wealth. Saints, when the Lord make you wealthy, you can't ever put your confidence in that wealth. You put your confidence in the source of that wealth so that you can keep on listening to him with that wealth. The man with the five talents had over five million dollars. And he still is humble and sensitive to the Holy Ghost to soul. So now the Lord promotes him to supernatural money moving. That's how seed sowing work. Now say seed sowing is not something that you need man to observe and measure and balance. Seed sowing is for the father to look at. He looks at your seed. He looks at the amount you sow. He's the one that's multiplying the seed and bringing it back to you by supernatural avenues. Saints, you don't have to know 10 physical people to get a harvest. The Lord over the harvest that's multiplying your seed, know 10 people. Saints, in, in the children of Israel story, souls that it shows that God has a hypnotic power that he places on people when he wants a wealth transference to happen for you. See, bountiful sowing permits that hypnotic power of God. Woo! Woo! That, that hypnotic power. God will hypnotize anybody in the satanic system, in the Babylonian system, to get bread, fish, provision to you. Saints, the woman at Zarephath, she didn't even know that she knew how to hear God. God told Elijah, I commanded her to feed you. She meet Elijah and she like, huh? I ain't even got what you asking for. But the hypnotic power of God is at work. She's fulfilling God's word and she don't even know God. Saints, when you are seed sower, you start living a glorious, adventurous life of wealth. Wealth becomes adventurous because they are happen to you at any given time. Wealth will happen to you like a thief in the night. That's why you always got to be smelling good, dressing good, looking good. 
because wealth will find you. God could have a day. There is a day of due season for everybody when they plow in the ground. When you plow in the ground. When the seed is leaving your hand, God not up there twinkling his fingers, talking about, nah, I don't see what she's doing. Did she do that? Did she sow? Did he sow? Are you sure, angels? Did you see a seed yet? No, he the one watching your seed. And there's a day of due season that he got set apart for supernatural money to move into your bosom. Your bosom was not made to be empty. So when God is moving you and pressuring you into that grace of sowing, he wants the bosom to reach its full potential. The bosom was made to be wealthy. The bosom was made to be rich. The bosom was made to have abundance, debt cancellation. The bosom was made to have investors. It, the bosom was made for men to give them to it. You open up your bosom's ministry to receive and reap and gather and collect when you're sowing. God made the seed principle so that you can engage the bosom blessing, the bosom blessing, the bosom bountifulness. The bosom brilliance. Because your bosom got a brilliance to it. It knows that it was made to pick things up and receive things and gather things and walk in things and be a recipient of the things that the Lord wants you to possess. Your bosom can live its whole life suffering slavery and brutality and it can go through pain and go through poverty and go through problems when God made the bosom to go through prosperity and pleasure and peace and production and protection. Your bosom was made to know and be intimate with the provisions of God. So saints, when you start sowing and you start honoring God, you start pitting a portion of money into the preacher that God sent to teach you the word. When you pit that finances in them, that is God collecting your worship from the earth. And he takes that seed and he brings it back to you in an overflow of things that make your life heavenly. He brings your life into the heavenly places when you start sowing. 